Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you this classic holiday look. If you would like to see how I obtained this classic holiday look, please stay in my channel and keep watching. So I've already done my eyebrows and for an eyebrow routine, um, I'll leave the link down below and I'm priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And for eyeshadow, I'll be using my L'Oreal Nude One palette. And for a brush, I'm using my Morphe E30 brush. And I'm using the whitest shade in this palette. And I'm applying it all over my lid. And now to cut my crease, I'm going to be using this color right here. And I'm going to be using my Morphe E36 brush. And I'm just lightly cutting a crease. And I'm going above my natural crease. And the reason is because I have hooded eyelids. Melodies we haven't played. No, I don't want no rest. And now I'm going to be using a Morphe E35 brush. And this is a small definer pencil. And I'm using this color right here, which is a little bit darker because when I cut my crease it was too light and I needed it to be a little bit darker so that's why I'm still cutting a crease using this darker brown color now with my Morphe E36 brush I'm going to be using this light color and I'm going to be blending above my crease that I just cut and I'm using upward strokes and I'm slowly blending it. And now with my Morphe E36 blush I'm using this darker color and I am blending it with the other lighter color and I'm still blending these colors together to cut my crease and I'm using upward strokes and I'm slowly blending it. And now with a Morphe M433 brush I am blending my crease with no additional product and I'm using windshield wiper motion. With this lighter brown color, I'm applying it on my crease with a Morphe M43 brush. And with no additional product, I am blending my crease. And because when we were blending, we lost a little bit of the a cut crease, I'm using this darker shade again with my Morphe E35 brush and I'm slowly cutting a crease as you see and I'm not applying too much product at a time, just very little at a time. And as a base for my lighter shade, I'm applying my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I'm just applying it under my crease and I am going to be blending it also with my finger. And for eyeshadow, I'm using the whitest shade in this palette and I'm using a MAC 239 brush and I'm just packing it under my crease. And now I'm going back in with this color right here and I'm using a Morphe E35 brush and I'm just applying it on the crease because I felt like I lost a little bit of the darkness I wanted so I'm applying it a little bit of a more chocolate color brown so so far this is how it's looking right now and it looks very dramatic but once it's all finished it'll all come together and with my Mac 
239 brush I am using this color right here this more pinky color and I'm going to be applying it on my brow bone and now to do my wing liner I am using the Maybelline eye studio eyeliner in black is black with a morphe e38 brush and i usually start my wing doing the outer part and then i go back in and i fill it in my eyelashes I'm going to be using this tarred eyelash curler and I'm curling my eyelashes before I apply my mascara and what I like to do is I like to curl my eyelashes and sort of curl them out a little bit at a time and now for mascara I'm using the L'Oreal infallible um, butterfly mascara in midnight black And for falsies, I'm going in with the Flutter Lashes in Fierce with my Duo Adhesive. And when I apply the adhesive, I like to wait like about 30 seconds and then I start applying them. And I try to put them closest to the root as possible. And my falsies look like this. But in my inner corner, I feel like it's missing a little bit more of a lash. So I'm going to be applying some individual lashes just in the inner corner. And for primer, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I'm mainly concentrating it on my T-zone. So as you guys know, I like to use a concealer under my foundation and I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in light medium sand and I'm also using a Morphe M705 brush and I'm blending it with a beauty blender afterwards and I use it um, before I apply my foundation because I have really dark circles. And for foundation, I'm applying the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in 104 with my Morphe M439 brush. And I start placing it on my T-zone and then I blend it out. And don't forget to also apply it on your neck so that way you won't have a mask-like look. And now to highlight my face, I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Conceal in light medium with a Morphe M705 brush. And I'm basically just applying it on my T-zone. And I'm also blending it out with a damp beauty blender. And at this point, I might look wider than uh, my neck, but that's only because of the highlighter once we start applying the bronzer it all come even out and now to seal my under eye concealer and prevent creasing I'm going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and a Morphe a 438 brush And now for the rest of my face, I'm also going to be applying the Laura Mercier powder and with a Morphe E33 fan brush. And now before I start bronzing my face, I'm going to apply a little more of this Laura Mercier powder 
and I'm just applying it under my eye so that way while I'm bronzing my face uh, my under eye is still baking for a little bit and now to bronze my face I'm going in with my Morphe 9c palette and i'm also using this lighter powder and i'm using a morphe m527 brush and i'm applying it on my cheekbones and on the sides of my forehead and under my jaw the storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust and now to contour my face, I'm going in with this darker color and a Morphe M140 brush. And I'm just going to be applying it under my cheekbones and on my sides of my forehead and under my jaw. And now to sharpen my contour, I'm using a Morphe M459 brush and I'm applying Laura Mercier powder under my um, contour. And now to remove my powder, I'm using a Morphe E33 brush and I'm just fanning away all the powder I had applied under my eye and also under my contour and now to define my lower lash line I'm using this color right here and I'm using a Morphe M410 brush and this is a definer brush and now to blend the eyeshadow I just applied I'm using a Morphe E36 brush to just blend that out and now for my lower lashes i'm applying the l'oreal voluminous butterfly mascara in midnight black and i'm also applying it on my upper lashes to blend my falsies and my natural lashes together And now for highlighting, I'm using my Morphe 9C palette and a Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush and I'm applying this color on the highest points of my cheeks and on my cupid's bow and also on the bridge of my nose. And for blush, I'm using the Milani Blush and Luminoso and a Morphe E4 brush. And I'm just applying this one on the apples of my cheeks. And to tightline, I'm using LA Girls Eyeliner in Berry Black. And now for my lips, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Candy Apple. And now to highlight my inner corner, I'm using the Becca Highlighter in Pearl and a Morphe M515 brush. And now for my waterline, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And now for a dewy look, I'm using my Max Fix Plus. So I'm just going to be spraying it on my face and this will make my makeup last longer also. Hi guys, so it's past midnight right now and this video you guys are going to be watching today 
was actually supposed to be uploaded yesterday but I wasn't able to finish doing my editing so since I wasn't able to finish doing my editing I decided just to post it right now so I'm just recording right now and it's past midnight and I decided to upload this for for the tomorrow video and um, I have the winners and the winners were chosen at random through a random generator and the winner for the Instagram and Twitter drawing is Paola Zambrano and she is from Twitter so congratulations Paola and the grand prize winner for my YouTube giveaway is Lupita Cruz congratulations Lupita Cruz and I also have one extra winner that I decided to pick and let me tell you guys how I chose this winner this winner was not chosen at random and I always read you your comments through Facebook um, for the people that follow me through Facebook and um, also for my Instagram my Twitter and my YouTube subscribers so I mean it might seem like I'm not reading your comments but I do I always pay attention so you guys never know and I decided to actually pick an additional winner since since this winner didn't show up in my random drawing I decided that I was gonna do an additional giveaway so let me show you guys so I decided to give the winner my random winner a Morphe 35e palette and some eyelashes an Urban Decay Naked Palette two SE Sleek Sleek Nail Stickers a little mini brush set and this is an Ulta one and a mini Smashbox Mascara so the winner of my random giveaway that you guys didn't even know I was doing but I had thought about it already and because I do listen I watch your comments and like I said and so I decided to pick as the winner and I did actually pick it myself it was in a random drawing and the winner for this was Stephanie your sip so congratulations Steph and I know you always comment on all my posts and on YouTube and I'm listening and so congratulations to all of you guys and hopefully you guys will keep on watching my videos and continue liking my pictures and stuff and um, I'm get, getting so close to my 1k on YouTube and so close to 1k on Instagram so once I hit 1k on either or I'll be having a giveaway again so keep watching see you guys next time Thank you for watching my classic holiday look. If you like my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll leave all the details of everything I use down in the description box. And see you guys next time.